First Alert Weather with Caitlin Napoleone. Looks like they're still clearing things up in Burlington. We do did get about two inches of snow there as well as other parts of the Champlain Valley. Uh, some pretty impressive totals out of this storm for some other places. John mentioned early Brattle, earlier Brattleboro saw eight inches. Townsend right behind them at six and a half. St. Albans six inches, a nice amount there, a half a foot, pretty good. Ludlow 5.2 inches, just below that in Springfield at five and right underneath that at 4.8 for Ludlow. So really impressive totals out of this system. While I think the widespread totals were closer to about two or three inches for most of us. Showed this earlier, can't get enough of it. This is a photo from Jamie Olson on our You Local page saying that Jade loves snow days. Thought we could use another picture of Jade there. She is adorable. We had plenty of snow, of course, across our area. Linden State, John mentioned earlier, got about six inches there, and it is looking very snowy on campus and on the baseball fields there. Uh, so the snow, of course, will continue to be in some places that didn't get enough attention on those roadways. A little bit slick, but it's going to improve for the commute home later on this afternoon, so that's good. That, new, uh, that being said, we do still have some snow falling over parts of northern New York in St. Lawrence County. You're going to see some steadier rain, snow showers uh, maybe a damp snow or even some rain mixing in at times. And certainly not out of the question in the Champlain Valley looking a little bit more dry, but a couple little flurries are certainly possible. Now this whole thing has really, really let up the bulk of it earlier this morning. Again, good news for our commute home should give some time for those roads to get treated if they had not already, but there are still some scattered showers right behind that. And we'll see some of that in the form of some snow, but also the potential for some rain to be mixing in because our temperatures are on the rise this afternoon. We do have a mostly light southerly wind at this point, but it could pick up at times and it's going to be out of the south, helping our temperatures climb a little bit. Already at about 36 degrees in Bennington, 37 in Rutland, Burlington at 34 degrees. Plattsburgh not far behind at 31. We still have plenty of places that are in the 20s, including the Northeast Kingdom and the Seaway Valley. So we're kind of back and forth right near that freezing mark for our area, which is why some of you might get a few of those rain drizzles and some of us a few flakes left over. But it's really wrapping up. Anything that you get later today will continue to be in that scattered nature and also very light. I mentioned the breeze. You'll get that up and down today, but temperatures eventually warming into that upper 30 degree range might lose a little bit of snow in some places. And by tomorrow morning, with temperatures continuing to fall, we might see some ice accumulate on our roads. So we'll certainly be watching that very carefully. You're noticing here on Futurecast, maybe the clouds breaking up a bit. I think they'll hold out a little bit more so than Futurecast is saying here. With a few lingering snow showers, especially some of the higher terrain might get some of those. On Tuesday, again, Futurecast is showing a really nice clearing here. I think we'll see some sunshine, but also some cloudy moments as well throughout the day on Tuesday. But other than that, Pretty quiet, shouldn't be a bad day out on uh, Tuesday night into early on Wednesday. Futurecast is showing a few more of these passing snow showers. Wouldn't be surprised at those, but they will not be widespread like this last system. And you could even get a little bit of sunshine in between that. Uh, so that's for Tuesday night into Wednesday and some of those scattered snow showers sticking around until Thursday. That blast of cold air, you've been hearing a lot about it. We had a kind of a taste of it last weekend with highs that were only in the 20s. Warming back up above average for the next two days, but then on Wednesday we begin to fall and that is that system bringing us a few of those scattered snow showers exit. We are left in the teens for highs on Thursday. Friday morning could be close to zero and likely below zero for a lot of folks with a high near 13 for the end of the work week. It is a little bit more dry by Friday. But we're looking at another pretty good storm that could bring some more rain and especially snow on Saturday and Sunday.